Rocket scientist Konstantin Tsiolovsky once said, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot remain in the cradle forever. I'm Max von Neumann, and I'd like to hear your comments below as to when you think humans will begin to live on other planets. We are Alien Institute, and we will work diligently to prompt our elite viewing crew to become the pioneers of space and science. We now go to an area where a special guest and new team member, GEO11, will generalize our mission statement. Greetings, Earthlings. I am GEO11, one of 23 ambassador aliens from the Kepler Habitable Zone who have returned to Earth in a mission to build an intelligent federation of elite Earthlings to prepare them for a future in outer space. You pioneers will ensure that your species will not go extinct by altering your DNA, improving your artificial intelligence, and terraforming potential planets outside your solar system. My origin story will be covered. Ah! My eyes, my eyes are sensitive to bright light. Please keep the light diffused. I cannot go on until my eyes are tested. Where is my favorite Earth book? I want to test if I can see one of your Earth books. Yes, there it is. 50 mathematical ideas you really need to know. If you do not have it, obtain it by striking the link below. It could be considered a textbook for our training. Ah, my eyes have now adjusted, so we may commence. Again, my origin story will be covered during a future discussion. One day you will be shown how we are related to a small degree. As an ambassador to your planet, I will do my best to learn what it is like to be an Earthling. This means I will use your languages to communicate, wear your Earthling clothing, and sometimes engage in some of your social activities. Fortunately, I cannot consume your nutrition. Ha ha ha. Keep in mind that my translator does not at times pick up nuances. So if my earth sense of humor misses its target, it is not my liability since we do not share humor with fellow Keplerians. I use Keplerians because that is the name you gave to the area from which I originate. More importantly than learning Earth's ways, I will prepare your Federation of Earthlings by reviewing basic mathematics, the language of the universe, as well as discussing topics in science and technology. Recall, we are not authorized to release our advanced technology, but we can motivate advances by improving your discipline in the basics and encouraging creative thought. Much of the mathematics will be basic at first, but more advanced disciplines of mathematics will be discussed on a graduated platform later. So do not get impatient. On the other hand, if you feel rusty mathematically at first, do not give up. It is imperative that you keep on learning to build the intellectual capital we need as a federation to become 
pioneers of outer space to get you ready for limitless exploration we must refine your intelligence inspire your determination awaken your imagination and unlock the ingenuity within you we will introduce two earthling liaisons Heidi von Helmholtz and Max von Neumann to make the training for the journey easier. Your brains have so much potential when the body is healthy and the mind is focused. Are you prepared? Intelligent life does exist outside your little blue world. So it is now time. Using Alien Institute as a preparation guide to prepare a little each day. We aliens left our home planet to propagate throughout the universe and avoid extinction. You must model yourselves after us. Recall Constantine Tsiolokovsky's words. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. Do not forget strike the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of the video screen.